one of the first questions I get is how successful are you? What's your success rate? And I'm happy to share share that, but I also make sure they understand that it is not just me. The dog is considered a tool. Um, it is not, you know, 100% accurate all the time. Yes, I do everything I can to make sure that there is accuracy. If, you know, for doing a track and the track ends or whatever or not, I continue to go outside of that area just to make sure I'm not picking up scent and I didn't miss a turn somewhere. You know, you just want to make sure you're thorough. And then I also make sure they understand that while, you know, like I said, I can give you the scent track. I can tell you where your pet has been. But if you don't take the action, I, you know, if you don't take the action plan and implement that in a timely fashion once I leave, you, you just wasted all your money. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I, I think you need to do your research. You know, look at look at their website, Facebook, maybe, you know, uh, talk to people on get, Facebook. Get some, ask some references. Ask yeah. for some mm-hmm. references. You know, um, I have a list. If anybody asks me for references, I have about 25 people who I have agreed to, you know, hey, can I give your number out if someone's looking to get, you know, your experiences with me and Magic or me and Tricks or me and whoever. Yeah. Um, and let them pick and choose who they want to call and who they don't. But yeah. there, I, there are a lot of people out there doing this, and it, unfortunately it gives scent tracking and pet tracking a bad name because they are not totally upfront with what should be expected. Um, may not be trained properly. They may not be trained properly. Um, I mean, there's a plethora of things that yeah. can make or break a successful track. Right, and that's that's why I asked the question because I'm not sure that people even understand how to find a uh, a good professional experienced one. So your answers are are perfect, and you know um, what somebody that needs your service or the services in other states where you may not be. Well, I do travel um, all over, <laughs> all over. Um, I think. Seven days, it's, well, maybe that's 14 days. I've been to Maine, Missouri, um, North Carolina, Tennessee. Wow. Um, so, you know, and then, like Bob said, we do have trusted resource partners that I am, you know, I'm familiar with, and I've been out on their tracks, and I've, you know, team tracked with them or whatnot, that I would wholeheartedly 100% endorse. Um, I've got people in North Carolina, in Texas, and Arkansas, and so... We can, I mean, between us, between the group, we have, the group we have can cover a very large range of territory. Um, a lot of it is based on, you know, timing and the urgency of the situation. You know, if there's a diabetic 16-year-old blind dog out in Georgia <laughs> that would like to get bumped up and, the, you know, it would be a little bit more urgent than the three-year-old beagle that's, you know, perfectly healthy running around the farm. Right, right. Yeah. And we are working on developing greater resource partners in other states and right. working with other rescue groups. That's good. There, there are some in Delaware, New Jersey that have almost nobody there. In Tennessee, have nobody. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and and the people there, you know, if their pet gets out, then what do they do? So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and while like I said, oh, travel, go ahead. I'm happy. Car, you know, I, there's one me, and there's only so many of us, and I can only, you know, it's hard for me to be in Delaware and Maine in the same. Two day time frame. We're trying to clone her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So after you do your tracking and then we talk about let's talk about um trapping. Um successful trapping methods, what would these include? Like what what do you tell people or do you actually go and do that part as well? Or do you just advise people on how to do it or to locate somebody locally or how does that work with you guys? So um, we've actually consulted with trapping in all over the uh, United States, Canada, England um, on some of these cases. New Zealand. New Zealand. Um, and a lot of it is um, kind of simple. So most dogs, when they get out, they will at some point want to circle back to the house. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people's first reaction is to go out searching, calling, chasing, yelling, screaming, um, sometimes chasing on four-wheelers, trucks, uh, search parties of people that the dog doesn't know. Um, and if you're a scared dog, you're just going to run away from that or hide. Uh, we tell, try to tell people, you know, bring the search parties back put yummy smelly food in the yard, liquid smoke, um, scent articles of their shirt socks underwear that they've worn but not washed, 
uh, grill bacon or something yummy in the in the yard or cook with windows open. A lot of times the dog, once they get out, they're scared, they hide, they're like, okay, now I want to uh, get home. They want to smell familiar and yummy smells. And a lot of cases, I don't know, maybe 10, 20% of the cases, the dog comes back to the house or at least near there. So you want to keep them in the area. You want to, to draw them home. Uh, we tell people if you have a fence yard, keep, you know, open a gate, lock the gate open. If they don't have other pets, put the, the, the food and scent articles in the yard. Uh, and we've had many cases where, you know, the next day the dog shows up on the porch. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's almost impossible to convince an owner not to chase and call because in their mind, oh, it's my dog. My dog will always come to my voice. They'll never run away from me. If I walk up and whistle, the dog will automatically come. And they just truly, truly do not understand uh, um, survival mode. They don't understand the dog is, you know, panicked and in running you know, instinct and is going to avoid every threat they, they perceive. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do a lot of coaching. We help people. Uh, we especially push the posters because posters are one of the, the main reasons people get their pets back because there's a sighting uh, or maybe the dog is in somebody's yard or if it's a friendly dog, went up to somebody. And if they have the dog, there's no posters, they don't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they try to keep them too. <laughs> I, yeah. Somebody told me they can either afford to have me come out and track or they can afford, you know, 200 200- good quality color posters, I would 100% say, give me your address. Let me tell you where to put those posters and get those posters up. Mm-hmm. If it came down to either, you know, effective, you know, coverage, you know, posters and flyers and whatnot, or tracking, a 1,000% of the time, I would go with the posters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So once once we're working with somebody, we, we, you know, really, really urge them to get the posters out. Once there's sightings, we try to triangulate the the area that they're kind of hiding in or the travel pattern and schedule. Um, dogs usually develop a, a pattern of movement, uh, a schedule of when they show up, um, unless you know there's you know, people chasing or some other uh, uh, incident that might push them out of the area. So once we get good sightings, we know where they are, we, we kind of figure out their travel pattern. Uh, we work with the owner for the most part of all right, I'll meet you here. We're going to set up a trap. Uh, we use the Netgear Arlo Go cellular cameras, which, in my opinion, are the best out there. Uh, I've had several other brands. They've all failed. Um, so we set up the camera. We set up the trap. We coach the, the people or the, the local resource or the family on how to bait, um, like what to do uh, when another animal is caught, like if we catch raccoon, which is very common. Um, you know, they need to be there within a certain period of time so the animal doesn't get hurt, let them out, reset, and rebate the trap. Um, we also let them know up front, you know, if that dog goes in, you are not to let it out there. We have to carry the entire trap with the, the dog or cat or whatever into the vehicle, into the home, and then let them out. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, you know, depending on the dog, uh, depending on the dog's behavior around the trap, like if they come to a box trap and they're tentative, they're looking up at the door and they're, you know, they might stick their head in, but won't go any further. Then we have to try to use different traps. Okay. So, you know, this went by so fast. We've only got a couple minutes left. So Bob, I, I'm Come thinking on. maybe, I know you didn't get to talk all of, about, cause I still want to <laughs> know about Missy traps <laughs> and I don't think we have enough time, but um, maybe you can come back again next month and we can continue to talk with you or with both of you um, about this a little bit more because it, it's to me, educational to pass along to the people I help and to the public educational if they ever need to know how to do this. So, um, but for right now, we're going to have to close and I hope that I can get you to come back maybe next month. And so quickly tell everybody how to find your webpage and how to get a hold of you in case they ever need your services. Well, you can find us at um, on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Larg Cares, L-A-R-G-C-A-R-E-S, or online at www.largcares.org, or for tracking at www.professionalpettrackers.com. All right, great. 
thanks so much for coming on today. I know it goes by so fast and there's so much to talk about. <laughs> so, but I do want to thank you both, Bob and Carmen, for being with me today. You've given us some really important information and I appreciate it. Thank you. Great, I would love to you. come back and talk about the traps. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, month. we'll, pl all right, we will Good. plan on that. So for now, everybody, remember that a lost pet can't tell anyone where it lives. So please be sure your pet is microchipped and wearing its ID tags. And if it is chipped, be sure the chip is registered and up to date. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, take care and keep your pets safe.